Hey, it's Andy here with Toman's Drum Bash, and today let's talk about symbols. To be more precise, let's talk about symbol stacks. First, I want to show you some of the most sold stacks on Toman, and then let's check out what you can come up with with your own symbols. So, what stacks you can build from the symbols you already have. First, let's start with a very, very unique design. Now I got rid of the right symbol and here is what Meinl calls the smack stack. This design with three layers of those banded flat symbols without any cup um, is actually a few years old and Istanbul came up with it and called it the clap stack. Zildjian did a version of it, Zultan did a version of it, now Meinl also offers it. And what they all have in common is that it basically mimics a clap sound. So if you're looking for a dirty clap thing to use in electronic music or also for some accents in your fills or whatever, this is a really cool sound color to add. Let me just play a few bars so that you can hear what it sounds like. Now, if you want to take it even further, there's an expansion kit with two more layers to add. Istanbul does the same thing. You also can get a five layer version. Just experiment with it. Also, Meinl offers a second version that's more brilliant and a little cheaper. So if you're looking for a little more trash in it, this might be the one to go with. Now, the next thing I want to show you goes in a very different direction. This is the 12 inch Meinl HCS trash sack and the name actually says it all. So if you're looking for a short sound that really adds some trashiness, for example you can play it as an auxiliary hi-hat or you can add some accents in your hi-hat figures, I'm gonna show you that in a second. Also for grooves fills, it's just a nice addition to your setup. Let me show you what it sounds like. Now what's cool about this is that it consists of two symbols and the one underneath is actually a little china. So what you could also do is you could also use both symbols separately and you could also place it upside down if you prefer hitting this side. It's just up to you. By tightening the screw, you can adjust the length of the stack. So now it's very tight, very short, more loose, different sound. So you still got more than one sound you add with this one. But this basic principle of tightening it or loosening it is the same with all stacks. So let's go on with one that comes with a special clamp and is something very different. This is the FX stack by Zildjian. You can get in different sizes. This is the 12 inch version and it always comes with this little clamp. So you don't need an auxiliary hi-hat stand somewhere, but can simply slide this little thing onto your regular cymbal stand and it's perfectly fine. Sounds great, works perfect as a secondary hi-hat, as a more electronic sound. And let me just quickly play a few bars for you. Really great tool as a second hide and once again also with this clip you get the chance to tighten it or loosen it depending on 
how long you want the sound to be. Let's go on with one Pisces came up with. Here we got the 14 inch Pisces Swiss flanger stack. We got two symbols both with holes and the bottom symbol actually has a pretty unique shape. It looks like a crash symbol that you've beaten up for decades and that has just lost the shape but that's on purpose because this affects how the two symbols touch each other and enables air to get between the symbols and to create this flanger effect. Once again, I'm gonna have it in a medium tight position so that you can hear what it sounds like. Now we get two models here, the 6-inch Meinl Crasher Hats and the Bullet Stack by Meinl. And those are just two of the models that they've come up with in cooperation with artists. This is a Benny Grip model, this is done with Luke Holland. They also have some uh, Matt Gostka stacks, there are some Matt Halpern stacks. Also other brands like Zabian did stuff with Mike Portnoy for example. So coming up with stacks in collaboration with artists that are just looking for a different sound color is something very common. So once again, if you have a drummer that you like a lot, maybe check out what they play so that you can add a certain sound to your playing. Now here we got this little hi-hat thingy. And what's really special about this one is that first it comes with the multi-clamp and uh, the auxiliary hi-hat stand. And the top symbol actually consists of three symbols. So you get a little splash-like symbol on top, then you get this metal ring in between, and then a second little thicker splash underneath. This combination of symbols actually gives you the feeling and the sound of a larger hi-hat. So even though it's six inches, check out how dark it sounds. Pretty cool sound. This one, the Luke Holland version, is a combination of two crashes with holes. One with the natural finish, one with the brilliant finish. Also a very cool look, so if you just want to have the look to your setup, also a good choice. But if you know his playing, he's well known for beating the crap out of his cymbals and adding a lot of trashy sounds to his playing, so let me try to do something similar and play both specs for you now. Now that we've checked out some pre-configured stacks that you can buy as they are, let's find out what you can come up with with a regular cymbal setup and with the cymbals you already have at home. Of course, instead of buying pre-configured stacks, you can also stack cymbals yourself and use the cymbals you already have in your setup. So here, for example, I have a 16-inch Dune Head, 16-inch Dune Trash Crash, 16 inch Rockbeat Crash, 20 inch CS Ride and an 18 inch Heritage China. Now how can we combine those symbols to get new sounds? The first and most obvious option would be to combine the two 16 inch crashes. So first let's hear the crashes one by one and then stack them and check out what this sounds like.
Now, if this is a little too long for your taste, you can just tighten the screw a little. We'll press the two symbols against each other and then it sounds like this. Let's check out a groove with this stack. This actually works very well. So a very simple way to go is just to check out what crashes you have in your arsenal and try to combine them and find out what works best. Another great way to spice up the sound of your crash cymbals is to bring in a little splash cymbal. For some extra trashiness, I will use the trash crash as the base for my stack and just place the splash on top. This will add some sustain, I guess, and also it will just sound more trashy than the trash crash by itself. Let's check it out. Nice. Once again, in the context of the groove. I really like this combination. If you're wondering what splash this is, this is a 10 inch raw splash. Now let's go on and try some stuff with the china. First I'm gonna use the splash we just had over here and a nice thing to do with chinas is either to put a splash inside the china, which doesn't work very well here because of the shape of the splash. This might be different in your scenario. So. I'm gonna put it underneath the china. You can already hear that it's making a nice contact. Fixing it with the screw on top, you need to find out what is the best pressure you need to get the length of the sound you want. Sounds really nasty. Once again, let's check it out in the groove context. Once again, great sound. What you can tell is that trashy cymbals like those trash crashes or a china work great as a basis for your stacks. So why not combine both? Let's unscrew both and let's get rid of the splash underneath. And then let's do a combination like the Luke Holland splash or Matt Halpern has a similar stack. Different sound, totally different sound color and it will definitely tear up your sticks but let's check out what it sounds like. So now, once again, to back where we started, I've kept the splash under the china because I just like the sound. Now, the next thing and the last thing I want to mention in this video is that besides stacking stuff on top, you can also use your crashes to customize your hi-hat sound. So, for example, I got a 16-inch hi-hat here and we got some 16-inch crashes. So, why not change, for example, the the top symbol of your hi-hat with the trash crash and add some trashiness. So to show you how the sound changes, let me play a quick groove for you with the regular top symbol and then with the trashy one. So what you can clearly tell is that there is a lot more sound options within your cymbal setup 
than you would have guessed maybe. So be creative, combine the symbols you have, create new sounds, and then you will have a lot more to choose from when it comes to finding the right sound for the song. Now, which of those stacks, the pre-configured ones, the ones that we've just came up with, which was your favorite and what is your favorite stack symbol in general? Let us know in the comments and see you in the next video.